Today I want to talk about Camilo Silva's new preamp CSF3. Camilo Silva is a great friend and mastering engineer here in Colombia. For years he has been making audio equipment that he uses in his mastering studio. I have also had the opportunity to see Camilo Silva's equipment in important studios such as The Bunker and Studio G in Brooklyn. And today we have the pleasure of having the CSF3 here at Delta Records to tell you what we thought of it. This is a single channel tube preamp that has an instrument input on the front and a microphone input on the back. As well as its XLR output. As input signal, you can choose instrument, line, microphone. Microphone with a pad of minus 20 decibels. Condenser microphone where we apply a phantom power of 48 volts. The drawing of the ghost is also very original and condenser microphone with a pad of minus 20 decibels. It has a low cut. It has the cathode feedback where we find the high gain or clean. Camilo is going to tell us more about this. This is a very interesting control, which is the cathode feedback control. That basically what this does is it allows me to alter the gain structure of the two valve stages. What can I do with this control? When it's down, it is deactivated and it is the, let's say, normal mode that is the cleanest mode of operation of the preamp. But when I turn it up, when I turn it, I have high gain and makes it easier to get a little more color as a result. A little more saturation of the natural saturation of the tubes. It's one more way, shall we say, to manipulate the gain structure of the preamp to get the other kind of results. It has the polarity inversion, which can be normal as it comes or reversed. And a minus 10 decibel attenuator. Let's take a look at this clip where Camilo talks about turning on the preamp. When I turn on the switch, I want you to notice how the voltage is going to go up very gradually until it reaches 12.6 volts. And a moment later, a few seconds later, the 250 volt source is going to start up smoothly. The voltage that will be read here will be divided by 10. And I have the oscilloscope in X10 mode so that I am reading the voltage in a scaled way so that the oscilloscope can effectively take that reading. That's where the switch is going to sound. You're going to hear it. Let's go. There, it's almost at the operating voltage and the filaments are heating up. It will take a few more seconds and the high voltage source will fire, but the tubes have already fired. The tubes are already at temperature. So the tube is never going to get a cold shock. Two forty, two forty one, and in a couple of seconds, it ends up stabilizing around two fifty. It's not necessarily going to be two hundred and fifty perfect, perfect, but we're in that range. And well, it's not, I mean, not the accuracy of the source being at two hundred forty five or two hundred fifty five is not really going to affect the operation of the tube. I calibrate them at two hundred and fifty, but there are external factors that can cause that voltage to vary. We're going to test this preamp with different instruments. Here we're going to record acoustic guitars. We're using an Audio-Technica 4047 MP microphone.
Now we're going to try it with vocals. I found the light Found my broken heart But I'll never cry We're going to try it with a trumpet. This preamp is super versatile, you can use it for any occasion. I really like it for lead instruments. Running everything through here sounds really, really good. The price of this preamp is in dollars, more or less, it is about $900. It is a very good price for such a high quality preamp. If you want to know how you can acquire this preamp, you can write to Camilo. In the description are the details. And if you think this video is useful for a friend of yours, don't hesitate to share it. Subscribe, turn on the bell. See you in a future video. Take care of yourselves. Bye.